Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. Today, I'll show you how to measure walking distance on an iPhone. There are two main ways to do this. You can plan the distance in advance using maps, or you can track it in real time while you walk. Each method has its own advantages. So let's go through them in detail. If you wanna measure walking distance before you start, the best way is to use Google Maps. This is my preferred method because it's easy and accurate. First, I select my destination, then set my starting point. By default, it'll use my current location, but I can also choose another point manually. Once I tap on directions, it will calculate the distance for me. If it's not already set to walking, I just switch to the walking mode. And now I can see both the distance and the estimated time it will take to walk. If I need to make stops along the way, I can even add extra points to plan my exact route. If you want to track your actual walking distance while you move, you should check out the health app on your iPhone. Just open the app and go to the steps or walking plus running distance section. Here, you'll see a detailed breakdown of your movement, including daily and long-term trends. The app also visualizes this data with graphs, making it easy to see your walking patterns over time. It's a great way to track your progress if you're trying to walk more each day. There are also third-party apps that can do this, but they mostly pull data from the health app anyway. Apps like Pedometer++ Plus Plus offer different layouts, additional tracking features, and a different user interface. But the actual step count and distance measurements will be the same. If you prefer a different look or need extra features, you can try one of these apps from the App Store. Just keep in mind that they'll need permission to access your health data. That's it for today. If this video helped you, hit the like button and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more iPhone tips. Thanks for watching and see you later.